Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> so I have, uh, I don't have much to talk about today, but um, I have a few things. First off, uh, this love and hip hop. I know that love and hip hop is struggling uh, when it comes to its taping and bringing stuff back, but uh, these little reprisals uh, are kind of annoying, and um, and so I'm not feeling it, <laughs> and I'm over it. Um, so I haven't been watching those. I've I've watched a few of them, and I'm just kind of like done. Uh, but I have watched a few things, and I'm not sure if I've spoken to, uh, but I've been watching The Morning Show on Apple TV. I know. I have finally, I've had a mem, uh, I've been paying for Apple TV, but I haven't been watching Apple TV. And so now I'm finally getting around to watching it. I did watch The Banker, and I think I've already said how great it was, but The Morning Show is just so good so so good and it gets better with every single episode and I um I don't think this is Jennifer Aniston's best <laughs> so I can't I but I but the thing is I like Jennifer Aniston I I like her I don't know like she feels like she could be a friend she could be like somebody I would love to be a friend with I know it sounds strange, but that's how I feel. Um, Jennifer Aniston, there's, I know it sounds really silly, but, and I don't know why I'm so invested. I mean, I have to think about this for a second, but I don't know. There was a, um, a read on Netflix, YouTube. And where Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were doing a read together with a bunch of other people. And it was the cutest thing when when um, they said hi to each other and they had to do a read where they were like, they were the ones who were engaged in like this, this sexual uh, encounter. And it was really awkward for everybody around the... the <laughs> the read you have to watch it anyway and so they were flirting with hey mister you know it's like it was like hey brad and he's like hi and, and it was the cutest thing and it i mean for those of us who who lived through <laughs> that era where they were together as husband and wife i just loved them together and it made me mad i still as much as i like angelina Jolie, she is one of my favorite actors and I like her as an actress. I still can't get over the fact that she dated and got married to Brad Pitt. Like she cheated on Brad Pitt and got married. Like I still am not over it. I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds ridiculous and I know it sounds petty, but Elizabeth has not moved on and I really wanted them to be together. And in my head, I still kind of wanted them to be hook up and be together, even if they don't get married, but boyfriend and girlfriend. But maybe I'm, there's some part of me that's a hopeless romantic. I feel like everybody's story should be like Sex in the City with Mr. Big and Carrie. And the more that I grow up, the more I realize Life is not like Mr. Big and Carrie, for those of you who are Sex and the City fans, like I am, and is excited to see that there's going to be another Sex and the City uh, reprisal. I'm so excited, and I don't care if they are all, I think they're all over 50. If they're not over 50, they're close to. Um. Because I still quote from Sex and the City. My favorite is, my favorite quote is from Charlotte, where she's like, if you're not going to be with me, then in my mind, you're dead. 
Like we, and she, her, her comment is being a friend to me is a privilege. And you lost that privilege when you made the decision to screw me over and not be screw me over in our, in my relationship, in our relationship. And I think that's a legit and that, I mean, I don't know, call me bitter, but that's kind of how I operate in my, in my life. We could, there's a few who I could be a Facebook friend with. None of us could be friends in, in real life, but we could be Facebook friends. And then there's a few out there. I think there's maybe one that maybe one or two that. We can never be friends or Facebook friends. We can be, maybe I'll go to your funeral. Like there was this huge debate. I don't know if you remember when Rihanna made a comment about how there's some people that I'll never go to your funeral. And it became this huge topic of discussion. And I was, and I had to sit and think, like, if there, if I had some people in my life that I dated before, would I attend their funeral? And there's a, and I come down strongly hard on, no. <laughs> like, I mean, would you send condolences? To who? For what? Why? <laughs> yeah, um, I know. My pettiness. Um, but anywho, I don't know how we got down this road. I, I, I still think that oh, Jennifer Aniston. That's my road. Um, the morning show. And Renee Zellwing, um, Renee, I've always liked her, but she has such a weird face, right? And her daughter is like, you guys think that my daughter looks like me, my Lord. Her daughter is a carbon print of her. It is a younger version of her. It is absolutely uncanny. Um, and I was mad when her and her husband broke up. I was like, are you guys really doing this? Like, do you guys really need to break up? Y'all are the perfect couple. When y'all were in, um, cruel intentions, it's like you guys were the perfect couple. Why? But you know, I'm not in anybody's bedroom, so I'm not in anybody's bedroom, but my own. And I can tell that like marriage is very difficult to sustain. Um, and I know that if I were to ever get divorced, it would be an act of God if I were to get married again. Like I, I'm too much of an independent soul for me to want to go down that road again. Um, and I, you know, I don't know what he would do. He says the same thing. So I, I mean, I think that him and I are very similar in, 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 in many ways, even though I don't believe him. I could, but I, on the other hand, I do kind of believe him. I can believe that he would just, but he's a, he is a, my husband is a serial relationship person, even though he would probably move around from person to person. He's still, even if he wasn't, even if he didn't stay faithful, he still likes to have like a home base to come to. Um, I am not a serial relationship person. I am a under my under normal circumstances. I just like to date, and because I like the notion of like you can go, <laughs> like there's this Trina song um, uh, that came out. I guess. I guess it's been like 15 years. Uh, there's a Trina. No, it hasn't been that long. It's been about 10 years, maybe nine years ago that, uh, no, no, I guess it's been 11 years since the song came out, I guess. Um, and it's a song where she says, uh, she sings a line. 
no it's yeah it's been it's been um quite a bit of time because it's been i think this song came out in like 2008 2007 2007 no 2006 yeah yeah so it's been quite a bit of like 15 years anywho where she talks about like um you know you can you came here to have sex and i wanted you to only to come here to have sex and then you can go why because i already have a house i got a car i got everything else so what do i need you for but just that granted i'm not that cool um and coof but I like the idea of my personal space <laughs> and so the notion that like yeah you can spend the night but it's not like you can but you know move in so I'm I was I was one of those people so the the idea of like um, moving you know so we're trying to be in the long haul me and my husband because I know that there's no, um, I'm not, I'm not a, a serial relationship person. I don't know why we get on that topic, but I, morning, morning show, stick to morning show, morning show. I just really, I really like, I really, really like the show, even though every single episode makes me pause and um think of like i i still can't figure out where this show is gonna go and i thought that that's pretty cool even though even though i think that i could see this happening behind the scenes in any type of news reality any type of news anything so i'm looking forward to seeing how this you know further develops on the flip side can we talk about um how i love how apple tv syncs up with all of my other channels so i think that's pretty cool but also you know there's not a lot of new content on apple tv for me to be paying what five dollars a month don't tell me how much i'm paying don't tell me but i know <laughs> that um because i mean I know it's not enough for me to for me to get up in arms because i think when it's Netflix money, then it's like, okay, where's my money going? But, but there's that. Um, I did see, see, um, um, MLK FBI and I don't know how I feel. And this is the reason why it, I still haven't posted it on my face on my Instagram because I'm still trying to work through how I feel about the movie. Uh, it's a documentary, and I don't, I don't, I don't think that I'm the audience because it's not like there was something new with the story. I think the only nuance of the story is that I don't know <laughs> is that he was more aware of the FBI and then he was really trying to deny the FBI and was really taping him was really following him but but I will say and then and then they made a comment that the FBI kind of stopped recording and following the family after King died. Um, and I don't, I think that the movie is missing one component, that it set a precedent to where, uh, for how they followed King, how they followed Malcolm. And I think I need to think about this like <sighs> how
how they follow both of them set a precedent to how um, they began to follow many other people after. And I think that's the missing component. And, and, and how a lot of, <clears throat> of these leaders were not, um, how the FBI infiltrated, um, how the FBI, uh, investigated and did undercover and monitored people, how they felt justified in doing so and how they made, how they did it to all these other people in a way that made it acceptable and made it to that they could do it where um where people could um would never get so big you know like so people could never get bigger and so like there so there would never be a duplicate Malcolm X and never a duplicate MLK. So what could they do? Like there's a new movie that's coming out, Judas. And um and I forgot the whole name of the book, but the whole name of the movie, but Judas is I know is the name of it. But you couldn't get an individual to become as big as those two, which is when people talk about black leaders. I think people need to understand that not having a black leader is not because of 